Hello and welcome to Saurabh Sir's classes. Today we will discuss some of the questions that appeared in the general English section of the IES ISS exam 2015. The first of these is a set of words and we have to construct meaningful sentences using these words. So the first word is loquacious. Loquacious means talkative. A person who talks a lot. And the sentence could be Sham is a loquacious person who has the habit of talking unnecessarily without any reason. Sham is a loquacious person who has the habit of talking unnecessarily without any reason or for no good reason. The next one is topsy-turvy. This means upside down. The sentence could be the sudden showers Sudden showers turned our outing plan topsy turvy. The sudden showers turned our outing plan topsy turvy. The next one is mentor. Mentor means a coach, teacher. The sentence could be, besides being a very successful businessman, Naran Murthy is considered to be a great mentor of people. Besides being a very successful businessman, comma, Naran Murthy is considered to be a great mentor of people. Next one. Enigmatic. Enigmatic means baffling or difficult to understand. Difficult to understand. The sentence could be in response to my query he sent me an enigmatic response enigmatic reply because we have used response in the beginning in response to my query he sent me an enigmatic reply. Next, nefarious. Nefarious means sinful, evil, not with good intentions. So, the sentence could be terrorists have nefarious intentions and they act 
in accordance. Terrorists have nefarious, nefarious intentions and they act in accordance. Next, we are given some homonyms. Now, what are homonyms? Homonyms are words which sound the same but differ in meaning. Differ in meaning. And we are given some homonyms here and we have to construct sentences using them. The first one, it says complement with a I and complement with a E. Now, with a I means praise and with a E means to add as an additional feature or characteristic or attribute. So, the first sentence could be his compliment on my success was genuine in nature. And the second one could be earphones complement cell phones. The next pair of words are canvas with one S and canvas with two S's. The first one means a piece of cloth on which typically artists draw and the one with double S means to ask for votes or to solicit votes or to campaign for votes. Campaign for a candidate. So the sentence for the first one could be the artist drew a beautiful picture on the canvas. The second one could be despite the strong canvassing by the party leaders they lost the election. Next we have the words device with a C and device with a S. The, the one, first one device with a C means something used for a particular purpose and the word with S means to plan. So the sentence could be for the first one motor a motor is a mechanical device that works on the principle of electromagnetism. Mechanical device. And the second one could be they devised a 
thoughtful plan to cross the river the next set of words ghostly and ghastly are indeed very close in meaning as well both in a sense means terrifying a uh, very fearful but ghostly is always associated with a ghost it means looks like a ghost and ghastly means terrifying horrifying etc so the sentence could be his ghostly appearance frightened the children and ghastly could be the street or a ghastly sight after the riots or you can make it simpler saying that street was a ghastly sight after the riots the last one sight with a c and sight with a s sight with a c means to provide evidences or to show sight means to show and the word with a s means a place or a piece of land and the sentence could be for the first one sight with a c the they cited evidences of the crime using using cctv images they cited evidences of the crime using cctv images and the one with s could be the construction site was far away from the city limits next we are give, given some sentences and we have to make changes in the sentences as per the instructions in each sentence the first one says we have to change it into passive voice now when when we change something from active to passive the actor active to passive means the actor and the receiver gets interchanged in active voice actor comes first receiver comes second in passive voice receiver comes first and actor comes second so in this sentence i know him i am the actor and he is the receiver so if i convert it into passive voice it would be he is known by me the next one it says change into indirect speech now when we change from direct to indirect direct to indirect that means 
the verb changes from present to past and the person changes from first to third. So here it says the stranger said could you tell me where the post office is. So the indirect speech would be the stranger asked me because there's a question mark here stranger asked me if I could tell him you becomes him if I could tell him where the post office was so is becomes was so the stranger asked me if I could tell him where the post office was next one change into comparative degree comparative means I have to compare between two like greater than lesser than like that the sentence says that I did not spend as much money as you so in comparative form this would become I spent lesser money than you I spent lesser money than you lesser is the comparative degree comparative term I spent lesser money than you the next one rewrite the sentence using unless now we have to see where we can put this unless the sentence says you are allowed into the club only if you are a member so unless and only if are similar both means the same in different ways so we have to write it like this you are not allowed into the club unless you are a member you are not allowed into the club unless you are a member so what did I do I introduced not here and instead of only if I change it to unless you are not allowed into the club unless you are a member next join the two simple sentences to make a complex sentence now the sentences are we enjoyed our holiday and it rained a lot so we can combine them by saying though it rained a lot we still enjoyed our holiday though it rained a lot we still enjoyed our holiday or we can omit the word still also though it rained a lot we enjoyed our holiday though it rained a lot we enjoyed our holiday the last part gives us a few sentences that we have to correct grammatically the first one this one says despite of repeated reminders the company has not responded of cannot come after despite despite repeated reminders the company has not responded 
the second one all the students will attend the function wouldn't they wouldn't is not the appropriate verb here won't they will be the correct one the third one this is one of the best books that has been recently purchased for the library best books so there are more than one books so has cannot be the verb that have been recently purchased for the library this is one of the best books that have been have qualifies the best books next one flying on the northern part of india we could see the peak of the everest on is not correct it would be in flying in the northern part of india we could see the peak of the everest next your friend is waiting for you since morning now if it was told your friend is waiting for you that's fine but whenever the time is is indicated that someone is waiting for you since morning it cannot be is waiting it would be has been your friend has been waiting for you since morning next people expect a lot from a from an university scholar now this is a common mistake although university starts with you which is a vowel but it is phonetically spelled as you y u and y is not a vowel so and cannot come with y so it will be a so people expect a lot from a university scholar next the sun is rising in the east every day now it is happening every day it's a truth universal truth so is rising is not the correct one it would be rises r i s e s the sun rises in the east every day rises the sun rises in the east every day next when we arrived at the station the train already left the train had already left it had already gone so the word had is verb had is missing when we arrived at the station the train had already left next neither the officer nor his ps were in office so it is talking about one of the two persons one of two persons so it is singular so it would be was neither the officer nor his ps was in the office last one the minister along with his wife are leaving for london now this one is talking about the minister wife is tagged with him so are is not correct it would be is if it were told that the minister and his wife then it would have been are so instead of along if it was and the minister and his wife so then it becomes plural then it would be are